Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, May 20th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. We're glancing at this beautiful painting by Sergio Coder. It is of Jesus's lighting of a fire on the shore of the Sea of Galilee. And the disciples are out fishing. As the, as the sun is rising. You can see that sort of fiery sunrise in the background matching the fire on the shore. Peter jumps out of the boat to swim to the risen Christ. And here he is beginning to get out of the water, beholding both the risen Christ and the fire. And you can see a reflection of the fire in the palm of his hand. It's quite amazing. Beautiful reflections in the water, yellows and greens, as well as the fiery red. Who is this risen Christ that I'm drawn to with all that I am? We continue this morning in the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel hears a word from God and God says, no matter what people respond, no matter how they respond to you, I want you to give them the words that I give you. So in other words, your life is not dependent on people's response. Just do what I ask you to do and let go of the rest. And then Ezekiel says the spirit lifted him up and he saw these wheels of chariots and heard the sound of brushing wings like angels and they transport him. And he goes to a different land where for seven days he just sits there stunned by this encounter with God. God says, just do what I ask and don't worry about the results. What if we didn't worry about the results? What if we were able to do what we believe we were called to do without any hesitation or worry, without any real fear of the consequences, whether people accepted us or not? But what if we just did what we believed God wanted us to do and then let it go with total freedom whether we're successful or not, whether people hear us or not, whether we're liked or not, doesn't really matter because the relationship that we have with God is the only one that matters. And as long as we feel that we're being faithful to that relationship, all else will work itself out. And we'll hear the brush of angels' wings and feel the moving wheels of a chariot taking us to the next level. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day, and as we approach the Pentecost, we thank you for these 50 days of Easter in which we experience the risen Christ. We ask that you would bless the sick today, Lord Christ, that you would bless the dying, the hungry, those who mourn, those who struggle with addiction or mental illness of any kind, the incarcerated, the homeless, the lonely, we ask that you would guide us to do your will, no matter what the response of others today, Lord. Help us to let go of results today and to just please you alone. Blanket this earth with your peace and your grace and give us a reverence for this beautiful planet that you've given us. In the name of the risen Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.